Welcome back to the Bride of Villa everyone. Today, me and Ben actually are at Villa Park for uh, the second game of the season against Newcastle. I honestly didn't think we would be here today, but still, we managed to get tickets, didn't we? Wonderful. Alright, so what are you thinking today, Ben? It's going to be a tough game. Newcastle, obviously, although they lost to West Ham 4-2, I think showed some really good signs of life in the first half. Um, obviously, Villa, not that great, should we say, against Watford. I do believe how Villa will bounce back. Obviously, first time here with full crowd. Um, I do believe Villa will bounce back. I'm going for 2-1 Villa. I was, I'm going to go for Mings, no, McGinn sorry, and El Garza. Right, nice one. Um, I think, because obviously the fans are back today. If you're here, you know how packed it is already. Uh, not much chanting, but I guess inside it will be fucking lively. Uh, I'm going to go 2-0. I'm going to go 2-0. I think Danny Ings will have a screamer. I'm going to go Ashley Young to get one. I think he'll have like some sort of header. He's going to want that goal to start the season off. And yeah, uh, let's get into there. Right, we're going to the ground. Um, we we're out 40 minutes early, to be honest. And I mean, I, I, I was just saying it doesn't feel quite sold out yet, but then again, we are about 40 minutes away yeah. from it. The players have just come out, training away now. Oh, it's very exciting being up here in the upper hole, I must admit. Very exciting. Yeah, it's like, we're watching the train right now. Uh, you know, obviously we're here to watch us against Newcastle. It looks like Newcastle has a few injuries with their goalkeeper and John Joe Shelby. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to have a good game. I'm going to be, I can already tell it's going to be loud, so yeah. Time Aston Villa one, Newcastle nil. Um, just want to say what fucking like, atmosphere it's been right now. Absolutely class. I've lost. I'm, I'm actually losing my voice here. so I'm gonna go quickly. Um, first twenty, well, first ten actually. I thought Newcastle massively out the race. I thought uh, first, and then the twenty minutes after that, Newcastle all over us. Very scrappy. I think Villa then grew into it in the last twenty. And then obviously, right on half time, best time to get a goal probably. Danny Ings comes out with a wonder goal, as somebody predicted. I said that all the way for his Ashley Young to get out. I think the referee's been absolutely shambolic. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I've never seen him before. He's, he's been an absolute. I'm sorry, he's been a tosser. He's been a tosser. And our first chance for Callum Wilson, though, he should be finishing it. Although it's two fouls there. I think. Newcastle, they don't look too bad. Their front front line is absolutely devastating. I mean, Joe Willock's had a massive impact on him. Same Maximan as well. He's really giving Cash a hard time, but Wendy needs to come back and cover. I think going forward for us, however, when we've got it, I, I can't really talk. <laughs> I think Danny Ings, to me, two goals in two games now. He's, de he's definitely shown them all. I did say in the one of the recent ones, he'd be a top goal scorer. Keeps going like that, he definitely will. Well, I think we are missing Watkins with that drive against the keeper. But other than that, we've definitely grown into the game. Uh, I'd say say Maximum, uh, Callum Wilson have been the main threats. Everyone else, he's been, re he's been scrappy for the last 20 minutes from him. Yeah, I agree. I think this game needs Watkins and we need that pressing power. Um, I mean, no Bailey on the bench apparently. Yeah, no Bailey's injured. I think midfield we're doing fine. <laughs> it needs to be. Um, 
I'd like to see more from Douglas Louise. El Ghazi could do a bit better, I think, and defensively. We need to be giving supply back to Cash and Young. Um, but I think, get the second goal. I think we're definitely looking a bit more comfortable there. Second half's now to come. Any final words? Just, we need to stay how we are. Uh, I'm not too sure who's on their bench, but we should, you, can, you can tell we're right here. You can tell we need that creativity. So, you've already said as well about the signings. We need that one creative player. Check the core, right? We have obviously war prowses off, but we need that one player. Big second half to come. Okay, that concludes the day. Uh, I know we didn't get much footage of, like, obviously Danny Ying's goal, some of the stuff when I, that happened, because there was actually quite a few things that happened, like VAR incidents, uh, scrappiness, and, uh, you know, Newcastle just, you know, they're just trying to uh, knock Danny Ings out for some reason. But, yeah, to be honest with you, it was actually quite a good game. We, st we definitely started out... On the back foot, I think Newcastle were definitely a better, get, a better team for the first 20 or so minutes. And then we definitely grew into the game. Um, sorry, my voice is gone as well. Like me and Meg. My voice is gone than yours. Yeah, because there's, uh, I think there was around 41,000 as well. Just Yeah. Um, but yeah, who's your, uh, who's your man of the match? I would go over McGinn on Mings. Um, I won't say McGinn, I think... Just going forward, he offered so much more in that number 10 role. Um, and he was just a much greater improvement, re driving the ball, re winning the ball as well. I thought Ings as a shout out as well, but really good performance. I uh, can't wait to go to Brentford next week. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's been a good day, but it's just really nice to see Ben positive because obviously, you know, he's not always positive. But I'm going to go with Jacob Ramsey as man of the match. I thought he's definitely had a big improvement from last season, and I hope. You know, he's, to be honest, we've got Brentford next, and I think that's a perfect game for him to start. Uh, he actually nearly had a goal as well. He was really close, just inches off. Um, you know, looking at the game back now, I think we definitely could have got a 3 0. Um, they could have scored, but obviously, VAR re rolled it out, which was really nice to see VAR uh, be on our side for once. The referee obviously wasn't the best the first, half. first half, but I, I can honestly say in the second half it was better. But uh, yeah, 2-0 against Newcastle. That's the third time uh, in three seasons now. 
that we've beaten Newcastle at home for 2 0. So yeah, hope you like the video guys. Me and Ben are definitely gonna try and get to some new of uh, some other games. Uh I've lost my voice. I'm really tired right now because I've been up since six o'clock. Don't ask me why. I hope you like the video guys. Please keep subscribing to the channel. Um get us to yeah, get us to five hundred now. We we're def definitely on the way there. So yeah, get us to five hundred. Like like the video. Comment down below and uh, yeah, up the bill, up the Friday bill. We'll see you in the next video.